All right, I've got my client, Benny, here. Uh, Benny has been with me now for about eight months. Uh, we went through an incredible transformation um, for the first six months of his program. We ended up losing 50 pounds uh, together to get into the best shape of his life. So, Benny, man, I appreciate you coming on and uh, telling everyone about your experience. Hey, I, Zach, I appreciate, you know, asking me, you know, it's something something important to, to share the story because sometimes you have to validate that information to other people to see the progress in order to, to, to go from point A to point B and then go to C, B, D, all the way to the alphabet. So thank you to the super, super givers, you know, yeah, to that. so it's kind of like uh, the motivator as well. Yeah. So what you got, brother? Tell, tell me, tell me. <laughs> well, it's an opportunity for you to share your story. And, and that is really the most inspiring thing is, uh, the stories are the things that people get connected through and also the thing that, you know, can uh, motivate people to get started. You know, you went from being inspired by seeing other people do it to being an inspiration to others, um, which is something that can be, uh, you know, compounded with this story that you're about to tell. So let's start here. You know, what led you to reach out to me? Honestly, to reach out to you, it was thanks to my to my homegirl, uh, Ray Rochelle, Rochelle, Ray Ray. She she was one of the kind of one of the uh, guiders because she she saw me struggle not struggle but we worked out together and then I was always in the on and off on and off on and off and it always has been a resolution to to lose weight and to you know be the best the best shape that I could be especially in the line of duty that I that I do. Um, it, it portrays an image, so I can't be obese how I was like that. Two sixty, man, it, it was it was bad. Uh, but she basically she basically told me, Benny, get 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 with Zach. He will help you. He helped me. He can guide you. And I was like, okay, I, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. So I reached out. Friday, I think it was a uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, shortly after Valentine's, I think uh, because. I went out and I wasn't getting the love of people and I was like, there's something wrong with me. So that was a kind of like the determining factor. I was like, you know what? I need to focus on me. It was always been a resolution for me to lose weight and I was never taking action on it. And that's a, the, one of the key words that I could say for me to take action on my part and reaching out to you, seeing the clientele, the, everybody, the, 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 how they were losing weight, the, the, your stories. And I was listening to you and you said one of the things was like, um, you will do the best if you can with stuff that you understand or something like that. One of some other yeah. uh, lines. You can only do the best you can with the knowledge you have. Yeah. That exactly. And, and, and I used that and I was like, well, well, you know, for me, in order to start running, I can run, but if I want to get efficient, I need to have somebody that been there, done it, and then, I could relate to your story as well when, you know, the partying, the drinking, getting fat. And it was yeah. like, well, that's my life. Now look, the, the transition of being the person that I was, like spending all that money in alcohol where I can spend all that money in sustainable food for me to especially look good and, yeah. and, and see. So, you know, thanks to oh. Rashid. I'm not going to forget her. Yeah. Uh, Lauren, I almost <laughs> forgot. Well, referrals are, uh, are really a baseline of my business. Uh, you know, coaching is really that. You only have your word, your integrity, and the results that you get for your clients. So um, it's really nice to always have a referral and then, you know, follow through with the referral and have such great results coming from it. So you, you touched on it a little bit, but, like, how did you feel before starting the program? Honestly, I, I was good. Uh, before I started, I, I felt good, but at the same time, I wasn't complete. That there was a, a part missing of me. And, and some of the things that I was having, you know, back issues, leg issues, uh, headaches, uh, not sleeping too well, maybe oversleeping sometimes, because that, that happened with the obesity that, that I have. I mean, 260 to 215, I mean, eight months, nine months, it's like, how is it possible? And yeah. honestly, Going from how it was then to where I'm at now is is incredible. You know, I, I'm glad that I took the challenge, and I'm glad that you know, under your supervisory guidance, <laughs> to lose that weight. I mean, it it made a difference. It made an impact. It, it really did. It's awesome, man. It's awesome to hear. 
Um, so during the process, you know, you, you've come full circle almost to this new person. Um, what was the most surprising thing that you learned about yourself? Um, it, it took me a while to learn from myself, but I go with the 3D, 2R, which is the 3D. So the 3Ds for me uh, will be the determination, dedication, and having that discipline. And in turn to that, I go with the 2R, which is the, the reason and my result. So having that discipline, determination, and dedication to, for myself, give me that I had that reason that which I had those three and then put me that result, which is the losing the weight that I wanted. So yeah. I, I know for most people, it takes a lot to find that groove, but at the same time, I, I find it through motivational videos from people like, for example, David Goggins, you know, individual who was super fat, couldn't go to, through Navy SEAL. And he just kept at it, kept at it, kept at it because he had a reason. And it had a result in order to get from point A to point B, those three, uh, three D's, the determination, discipline, and, and determination, discipline, it, it was needed. Yeah. It, so, yeah I, I think, you know, you, you realize that, you know, you have the power to become, you know, an elite leader, you know, you can, you can lead, you can become an inspiration. Um, and watching other people do it is, is definitely a great way to get inspired and, and again you've become that you've become an inspiration uh to others and and that's something that i think most people don't realize until they actually embody that like they become that being of this person that they've always wanted to be um so so we've been together for a while um you know through the process the weight loss process have you been able to sustain your results through the program honestly i have i have it, it, you know, it's hard to believe like, oh, you're just going to lose the weight and then you're just going to go back. Yeah. Honestly, once once I started seeing the pictures of the beginning and the result where I'm at, it's kind of like, I don't, if that was me, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going back to that. Just because looking now, it's kind of like, wow, that time, that the, the discipline, dedication, and de determination it took a while, but I did it, you know, yeah. and most people have that problem. You know, it's just like when you start, you know, from a baby to where you're at now, you know, walking and running, all that stuff, it takes time and also patient. So if you're patient and trust the process, trust the guidance, trust the, 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 the program, honestly, there's, there's nothing to beat it. There, I mean, if you trust it and you, yeah. you give your 100, you just dedicate yourself, discipline again, there's not there i mean you can't beat that yep. honestly i i saw the picture yesterday i don't want to go back to that <laughs> well you you know you can feel yourself going back to that if you ever do you know what i mean like uh you know at the end of the day you have to have a balanced life um and you were you know you were on vacation you enjoyed yourself in the columbia you know that that is what is balance you know um it's not all about um, just having this perfect body, because if you had that, you wouldn't be able to, you know, enjoy your, your family, enjoy, uh, the heritage of your cooking and stuff like that. You know, this is stuff that, you know, is, is important to you. Uh, and you can keep it now because you understand the foundation of like what it takes just to maintain the body that you've achieved, um, which is the body that you've always wanted. And now we're pushing even further towards something that's even better, uh, a better version of you, which is awesome. So um, what would you say to anybody who's on the fence about starting? If you're in the fence of trying to like lose weight and always just honestly look at yourself and, and vision, vision yourself first. If you can dedicate yourself, if you want to, honestly, for me, losing the weight, it was because as we get older, your body is not the same way to recover. So if you're somewhat fit or you lose the extra weight that you're just carrying around, if you can do it, you can dedicate yourself and also bring other people to, to your program and slowly bring, bring, you know, have that family, that foundation, because that's all, all it is about. If you're on the fence, don't be afraid. What are you afraid of? I mean, you already been through life. So yeah. what is challenge yourself, literally challenge yourself to burn the weight that you earned Right, that you gain by eating the stuff that possibly was the bad stuff, but at the same time, the lack of 
discipline on your body yep. took you there. So yep. you got yourself there. You can get yourself out. And honestly, going with, with Coach Sat, I, I mean, <laughs> again. Thank you, brother. Yeah, man, I, you know, at the end of the day, I've said it a couple of times, you know, self-discipline is self-love, you know, so once you achieve uh, the discipline that you're looking for, then you truly, truly feel great about yourself because discipline in itself is a goal. Like you set goals and you want to be disciplined to goals. Uh, and that's kind of how it translates, you know, out into everyday life. You know, you start becoming, you know, a goal setter and achiever in other things that you're doing, you know, your work, your relationships, whatever else. 